You know, in life, a person must understand there's different priorities in life. You have to know what's your priority in life. And we see this concept when Yosef HaSadiq sends his father gifts. Gimana says when he was in Egypt, he sent him, finally he found these Yosef, they sent him, Gimana Megillah says that he sent him old wine. Yeah? You ever have an old bottle of wine or no? You ever open up? Somebody gave me a, 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 a 20 year old bottle of wine. I have it in my house. 20 year old. You know what's going on? 20 years old. Not like uh, 20, uh, you know, 20 years old. And um, and if you open it, first of all, the cork itself is like, it disintegrates. How do you know that? It just disintegrates. Huh? It's crazy. It's hard. You're going to have to do that for me because right now it's like, um, I, I try, boom, the whole thing. <laughs> and second of all is, he told me that the sediments... Sometimes the sediments, you know how you sometimes have like pieces of wine, you know what I'm talking about? Like you pour one, it's all the way on the bottom, like a lot on the bottom. If it separates all the way to the bottom, it separates all the way to the bottom. So now that you know this concept of old wine, the question is, why did Yosef send his father old wine? There's more resemblance. You don't just send old wine. There's a reason why. So I'll tell you three reasons, and that's important for life. One is they say, wine warms you up. And when a person is very old, sometimes he gets cold. So old wine will warm you up. Nice. Second, he wanted to tell his dad, the older you get, the more refined you get. Because wine is the only beverage, if you think about it, I mean, basically wine, I'm saying, it's an item where the, long, the longer shelf life, the better it tastes. Take milk. Milk, the longer shelf life, what is it? Gets rotten. You understand? But wine, the longer it ages, the more refined it is. So he's telling his dad, his dad, look, I respect you like there's no tomorrow. The older you get, the more refined you are. He sent him the old wine to like remember that. Yeah. Now, the third reason, this is the pshat that I want to tell you about, the Avni The Avni Nezah says like this. He says, the reason why wine the represents that when a person gets older, he realizes what's the priorities of life, what's important of life, and therefore all the sediments, the, 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 the things that are not so important, which is in the wine, the sediments not so important, floats all the way to the bottom, because he realizes, whoa, like, life is not just about ABC, life is a bigger picture, I'll give you an example, you know, take money for example, let's speak about money for a, for a second, so I was on a table once, it was at a, uh, they had a dinner, and I was on a table, and there was somebody coming to speak, an older man, 80, 85 years old, he went to speak, and he was very, very um, uh, dynamite, the guy was amazing, and next to me was sitting uh, two, two people, and uh, one tells the other one, oh, wow, he just, you heard his speech. He just came from the old country at the age of 16. And he's telling his old speech. Wow, you heard? He came from the old country, 16. And then he tells him like this. This is what I'm hearing. I'm overhearing this. Oh, did he make money? That was his saying. Oh, did he make money in the country? Like, what did he do? Did he invest in this? Did he invest in, in Manhattan buildings like 50 years ago? He's like a multi, you know, anybody who came in just bought a property. Forget it now, 50 years later. So you know what the other guy told him? says, do you think this guy that's speaking, that's 85 years old, cares at this point about money? At this point, he sees half his friends who passed away, and he's just happy to be alive. <laughs> like, priorities. Priorities in life. 
Yeah, what's going on over here? You know, a lot of times a person has to has to understand and count his blessings. A lot of times he sings, well, what's this? You have to know what's important in life. Not just, oh yeah, this and that and that. Prioritize. And what's the most important? It's your connection with Hashem. That's the most important, by the way. That's the most important thing in life. And the more you love Him, the more you'll do for Him. And the love has to be so strong. There's a Midrash that says, like, imagine Shechem. You know what Shechem did? He violated the daughter of Yaakov, Dina. What does that mean? They're comparing the love. What does that mean? And one of the Midrashim says, listen to this, Mikey. Listen. He says, think about it. The condition of marrying Dina was that they have to do Brimila, and they, the whole city has to do Brimila. And if the whole city does Brimila, then they'll give over the daughter. Of course, that wasn't true. At the end of the day, they went, they, they, she won't let me wipe the whole place and wipe them all out. But that was the condition. And the Midrash has a question How could it be that they go ahead and convince? Entire city. Imagine you have a 40-year-old, you have a 50-year-old, you have a 60-year-old, you have a 7-year-old. Do bring me la, do bring me la, do bring me la. All this convincing. How do they convince the whole city? You know what the answer is? Shechem and Shechem wanted Dina so badly. His love for Dina was so strong that it, it, it went so wild that he was able to convince a whole town to do bring me la. You hear what's going on over here? The Midrash says that, that he loved Dina so much that he was able to convince a whole town to do Brimila. How? Because his love was beyond. We have to prioritize our love to HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the priority. Whatever he wants, I want to do. Whatever he wants, I want to do. And that's the priority of life.